know what we talk about. We defend, we rebound, and we run. And then we have a ton of fun. If you came to prove, there's no reason to prove. Tis the season to be thankful and reflect on how it all began. Nine days of games, trips, and boat rides all over the land. Team A! Some of the team! Some of the team! There are many good tidings ahead. I think one would agree. Now check out this preseason surprise from Coach B. Next summer, we'll take our Maryland pride to a whole new level when we put on the red, white, and blue. The Maryland Terrapins will be representing the United States of America in the 2017 World University Games in Taiwan. going to be phenomenal. You know, I felt like, uh, you know, you were getting ready for Christmas and, and to be able to share the presents uh, with, with uh, you know, your, your children. So um, just their reaction was, was priceless and something that I'll always remember. Practice officially began as the first of many for the Super Six. What do you think, freshmen? First official day. Ready. Oh, yeah. First day. You ready? We're pumped. And the first of the last for those who will be a number one pick. Right, right. So we just took the babies down there. Yeah. How do you first, feel? First. I feel great. I'm gonna send you out the right way, Bree Jones. <laughs> what do you think? Excited. Excited? Yeah. You remember the first one when you when you were the newbies down there? Uh, I remember the summer. I was nervous. Summer. Yeah, I was nervous. Remember how uh, scrawny you were? Really? Yeah. <laughs> remember when we had like you know like 95 pounds? Yeah. And now look at you. All the work you put in. We're going to send you out the right way. Oh. Always love this time of year. I mean, let's get started. <laughs> Picture day is a chance to reflect on what you say and feel. The faces say being a Turk is a mighty good deal. The media came out in full force to see and hear what a new year may bring. When all was said and done, optimism would ring. You know, they're fearless, uh, they're, they're workers, and they're extremely competitive. We were shown a bit of equal billing when it came to the press. Something of note and worthy to address. Do we know how hard it is to get coverage in, in, in a society that is kind of dominated, uh, you know, with the men and, and basketball and football and so many other sports that are out there. So um, for us to, to be kind of on, on that same plane is, is pretty exciting. It feels great. I mean, I don't, I'm not going to say I don't really think about the men, but I mean, I just think very highly of us. So <laughs> I get focused on us. <laughs> Midnight Madness was happy and glowing. Excitement filling the air. Terp fans are truly pumped. They really do care. 
that's going to be an exciting season. Being in the community is always a treat. The only trick is how you choose to greet. Hold it up. Cash. Yeah. Honestly, this is my favorite. This is my favorite community service. Like I always look forward to this one. Huh? We just give out candy, but it's like interactive with the kids. Hey. Yep, right there. How you doing? She ain't getting none? Thanks for coming to the good stuff. That's your brother? Yeah. Yeah, thanks. Y'all good family. <laughs> I mean, people, like, most of the people around here, since it's so close, they recognize us. So that means a lot, too. And then the kids look up to us, especially from around this area, because it's so close. We're right down the street. Happy Halloween. Yeah, that's all for you. You can eat it all tonight. <laughs> the exhibition season had some history of note. Holding someone scoreless for an entire half is great, but not to gloat. You know, it's never been achieved before for us to have a zero point half, but, you know, I think obviously, uh, you know, exhibition games uh, are different uh, compared to when you get into Division One talent. For there is work to be done as the opposition grows. A season of highs ahead and maybe some lows. These beautiful rings remind us of what we have earned. Back-to-back -back titles and Big Ten lessons learned. Our basketball family is strong and sincere. And as the new year unfolds, the turtle they will fear. When any new team comes together, especially one with six freshmen, it takes time to know each other. Okay, this is where we talk about in staff meetings is like, okay, what is the consistent snapshot of who we can go to in those games if their offense isn't working for them? What are we going to get from them then? I know if her shot's off, man, she's going to keep bringing energy. She's bringing communication this year. I mean, I know she's going to bring it. I know already your motor is going to be, you're going to be going a million miles per hour. Okay? Already, right? I already know that. I know that. Every day you walk in this year, you always speak. I love that about you. Every day you speak to me. If I forget to say hello, you say hello to me first. I love that about you. Right? Exactly. All right? Okay. The, the rest of you that, that, that I haven't said anything, I have yet to find what that intangible is. Here you go, Black. Work hard on three. One, two, three. Work hard. That's good. <laughs> The teddy bear toss for charity is a sign we have moved into November and the games begin to count. Coaches are constantly evaluating their players' growth. It's still a chance to reinforce values I mean, with I can't your help from being healthy, though. Composure. For 6'6 All-American Jenna Stady, her double-double with 14 rebounds were a glimpse of good things to come. And Jenna, you know, probably has had the biggest adjustment uh, of any of the freshmen. You know, 6'6, uh, you know, conditioning is not fun, uh, strength and conditioning, not fun. Oh, up, Jenna? Come on, Jenna but has really bought into to the work that, that's required at this level. And I just think her ceiling is limitless. Our Windex destroyed it in 10 minutes. 14 rebounds. Jenna Stady. <laughs> OMG. 14 rebounds. Double, 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 14, 10. I mean, when you talk about uh, what she's going to 
be able to do here in the future if she continues to put her head down and, and work. I mean, she gives us a dimension on this team that we don't have as she continues to, to stay this course. Great things are, are on track for her as well as for this team. It's an hour before tip-off, and Maryland fans, as always, get ample opportunities to interact with their coach. Really appreciate all of your support um, coming out today for our early game. I hope uh, maybe you need some earplugs or uh, get ready for uh, you know these screaming noises. I'm used to it because this is what our household is like every day uh, with twin boys. So. Scream loud, have fun today, and uh, I think I better go coach the team, get, get ready for the game. Go Turks! Okay. You know, I love introducing our team to a new fan base. So, you know, a lot of kids here today, first timers, um, you know, we recognize the fact that we're role models for these kids. And, you know, just like them, some of us grew up for the first time uh, going to a game and falling in love with it. morning. First and foremost, we are role models. And you guys do an amazing job in this locker room being role models. on my head. Yeah. Frazier, and you make us a better team when you play that motivated. You know, Tori, I was hard at, with, with you and Bree. Second half, both of you, sensational. Okay, and, and you know what? I have a high expectation for, for the two of you. Okay, and, and you would be disappointed if I didn't, right? Yeah, I know, that, that hurts you, the broke jumper. Okay. Who's first timers to Niagara Falls? Yes. Yes, well, I Googled it last night for the boys. Google it, all right, to, to give some images and pictures as per so you know what you're getting ready to walk into. It's going to be an awesome trip. I'm excited for us to go travel together. Okay, it'll be fun. Game prep for a top 25 team like Arizona State was thorough. If you don't bring your lunch pail and you don't bring your hard hat and your workman life mentality, it's going to be hard for you to give us quality minutes. Let's go, be let's go, good, good, Jenna. Okay, Jenna. It was an introspective exercise about playing time that was truly revealing. You came here to, to Maryland, uh, a, a top five program to do what? To win. In order to do that, though, we all have to do what? We have to sacrifice. You're gonna go up and put your name, all right? You're gonna put down, how many minutes do you think you should play in this top 25 close game? Okay, this is where we're at right now, 236 minutes. To get it down to 200. So anyone can come up if you wanna sacrifice some minutes to, to get it down to 200, okay? But also be in, okay? When you mix up ingredients for a championship effort, how big of an ingredient is sacrifice? You know, sacrifice is huge uh, of any team that's going to be successful. The preparation would soon turn to celebration, blue man style. Impact is known all over for making the greats of the game even better in their offseason. And the Terps wanted to create a lasting memory of their own. For Kaya Gillespie, history was about to be made. Not once, not 
twice. That's her second. Yeah! Jackpot. Why was the third one so important? Third, because you gotta go out. You gotta leave the gym with a make. With a half court make, that's special. So, that means we're gonna win tomorrow. Come on, come on, heartbeat one. Arizona State came into the game trying to center themselves. In the end, they would tap out to the Terrapin pressure that exceeded their own. Now we're competing. Nice job. Um, you know, we showed a lot in terms of our competitiveness and, and our aggressiveness today, which I really like. It's a great sign. First to visitors with a 4 0 record ranked fifth in the nation. Please welcome to the court the University of Maryland Terrapins. So when you talk about good versus great, okay, good versus great in life, all right? Anybody can be good, okay? Takes an extra special effort. 1% or 2% are to be great in life, all right? And every time we approach a situation, we're not trying to be a good team this season. We're trying to be a great team in every little thing we do. One, two, three. Yes! 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 No, no! Oh my God, that's terrible. That is awful. That's a rebound. Do you welcome physical play? Definitely. <laughs> ourselves in these last two days let's not let's let's enjoy this is the last little time enjoy the the um, event tonight on their way back home it was time to see one more reminder of why Vegas is well Vegas no most the hologram of Michael Jackson then you feel like he was actually there it was uh, great it was great I thought it was so awesome it's just like the show like had such a good storyline too. It's good, it's better than any show I've ever watched. I grew up in Kentucky, land of the Big Blue Nation. In high school, it was a very bad day when my coach decided I was better at making pictures than making baskets. I began my career shooting high school sports, then college football, and later wrote a book on NASCAR. But what I really love most is college basketball. Here's what I saw when traveling with the Terps to my home state. My name is Libby Ellis, is Director of Basketball Operations for Women's Basketball. Uh, now that Maryland is in the Big Ten and we're traveling a little bit farther than we used to, uh, we usually travel by charter flights. So it's a private plane that's just for our players, staff, in our immediate travel party. It takes less time, don't have to go through the normal kind of hassles of a commercial flight. Director of Basketball Operations, I think, is kind of the everything else job. So um, it's none of the on the court basketball coaching type things. It's kind of everything behind the scenes. Um, so kind of logistics of travel, of scheduling, um, a liaison to equipment, compliance, the business office, um, sometimes administration, just kind of being that person. Um, that hopefully takes things off of our coaches' plates, gets to worry about all the stuff that most people hate to think about, but I happen to like. <laughs> My name is Kaylee McInerney. This morning we were doing study hall. I am the academic counselor for five different sport teams at the University of Maryland. This morning it's game day and we are in Louisville and we were just, we spent about an hour and a half um, doing some schoolwork. It's 
about two weeks from final exams. So just checking in on the on the students, making sure that they understand what they're supposed to be working on and are staying up to date with all their assignments going into finals. I am so and BMD two two eight nine on the same day. Yeah. So she's at eight in the morning and then you have your final due at six o'clock. See, this is why you can continue to work ahead and start to deliver some soap stuff. <laughs> you want it bigger, louder, more obnoxious than you can ever imagine. That's what you want tonight. Hang on, folks. We have number five and number seven going at it here at the KFC Youngster. And Walker Kimbrough, nice fake, and buries it. Slocum never took her eyes off the rim. And that three-point play is a big one by Slocum. Maryland holds off the Louisville Cardinals and gets the six-point win. Flex your muscles, you know, I felt like I had uh, Louisville, I mean, uh, you know, I mean, incredible. You know, I'm big on, let's celebrate. Now that's a bicep. Next time on Under the Shell, Coach B gets ready for number one. Shatori says hello to home. And what's it like to play four times in nine days? We shall see.